Hello, my name is Paul Gosling and I manage the HDB recommended list for serials and RCs. Over the next 15 minutes or so, I'm just going to give you an overview of some changes we've made to the list for 2024-25 and also the new additions to the winter barley list. So we've made quite a few changes to the publication tables and the booklet that you'll see in the new year. These changes are, have been in response to the feedback we have from the oral review and also cons consultation we did with users at events over the summer. So for those of you that took part in the review and spoke to us over the summer, thank you for your input. A big change we've made is that data for varieties now runs down as a single table, so that all the information on a variety can be seen on one page rather than spread over several pages. You asked for that, we've done it, and hopefully that will make it easier for you to see um, the information you want on a variety. We've also changed the order of the information on the table. So disease ratings and agronomic information is keeping greater prominence. It's moved to the top because you told us that those were the things that you looked at first when choosing a variety. When you see the booklet come out in the new year, you'll see that more information has been added to the booklet to explain the trialing system, the recommendation process and the data. And the aim of that is to make the information easier to understand and enable you to get more out of the RL by understanding the context of the information you're seeing. The other change we've made is that the summer edition will no longer be produced. The summer edition was a small print when we did in the summer. It had some additional information in it, but it took a lot of time and quite a lot of money to produce that. We've decided to put that information into the main copy and will no longer produce a summer edition. A couple of changes we've made outside of the RL booklet are so the app and a new uh, web-based variety index tool. You told us you wanted to be able to compare varieties side by side on the app, and so we've done that. You can now compare up to three varieties. That has been rolled out to users who already have the app. If you don't have the app, it's well worth downloading. It has all the information that's contained in the recommended list in a slightly different format. And it works offline, so you can use it even when you don't have a signal for your phone. And something else we've introduced uh, new is a completely new tool, actually. Uh, so it sits on our website. It's our variety indexing tool. And it allows you to search for varieties by name. When you do that search, it will tell you the first and the last year that variety was recommended. And that's to help users find data in the RL archive for old varieties that are no longer listed. You said you're still growing some old varieties, you want to get information on those, but it's hard to find. Hopefully this indexing tool will help you locate the RL that you need to look in to get that information. So the new winter barley recommendations. It's a pretty thin um, list of additions this year to the winter barley list. We've got just two new varieties added. One new two row feed variety recommended for the UK and a six row hybrid variety with tolerance to BYDV again recommended for the UK. And that's the first 6 hybrid with BYDV tolerance we've got on the recommended list. So the two varieties are LG Capital, two row feed uh, from Lima Grain, and SY Buzzard, the 6 hybrid with tolerance to BYD, again recommended for the UK, and that's from Syngenta. We've removed several varieties from the list this year, Surge, California, KWS Cassia, Belmont, Funky, and KWS Hawking. For the next couple of slides, you'll see some tables like this. Um, what the video shows is the key traits of the new varieties and compared with a couple of varieties uh, already on the list. Cardiff and Lightning are what we call comparative varieties. They are the varieties that we compare new varieties against when we're deciding whether to add varieties onto the recommended list. Tardis is also the most widely grown uh, two-row feed winter barley, and Lightning is known for its good disease resistance. So LG Capital, the UK treated yield of 106%, uh, makes it equal highest on the list, and 3% higher than Tardis and Lightning. Its EE East yield is particularly high at 107%, 3% higher than Tardis and Lightning. But its West yield, they're bracketed, so that means limited information, is also high at 103%, ahead of Lightning and TARDIS. North Yield, again, is bracketed, so it's limited data, but at this stage, it looks like it's going to be higher than TARDIS and Lightning. In terms of disease resistance, it has a six for mildew, which is better than TARDIS, and the same as Lightning. Brown rust is seven, which is better than TARDIS, not quite as good as Lightning, which is very good at an eight. And Rhynchosporium for all the three varieties are a six. Nip blotch for capital is a little bit weaker at a five, the TARDIS and Lightning, which are both sixes. 
And perhaps that um, slight weakness means it's untreated yield is not at quite as high as lightning, but it is 4% uh, better than TARDIS. Specific weight is good, 69.9, um, so ahead of lightning, not quite as good as TARDIS, but very close. And uh, in terms of lodging, it sits between the two. It's not quite as, as strong as straw as TARDIS, but it's better than lightning. And in terms of ripening, ripening it's the same as TARDIS, but as naught, uh, not quite as early as lightning, but it's certainly not a problem. These are the official variety comments that will go onto the website. Um, you can find them there. I'm not going to read through these, otherwise it will make this a, a longer than necessary presentation. You can pause the presentation there and look at this if you want, or as I say, you can find it on the website. The other new variety to be added to the, the winter barley list is SY Buzzard, this hybrid six row um, BYW tolerant variety. And here I'm comparing it to KWS Fearis, which is a six row uh, conventional with BYDV tolerance, and also King's Barn, which is a six row non BYDV tolerant um, variety, very widely grown on the main six row hybrids. So, Buzzard, its UK yield, is better than KWS Fearis, the other BYDV tolerant variety, not as good as King's Barn, which you wouldn't expect. Um, we, see, we see a yield lag on the BYDV um, tolerant varieties. East yield is 104%, so 2% ahead of Fearis and only 2% behind King's Barn. West yield is bracketed, so limited data. It's just behind Fearis, quite a long way behind King's Barn. And in the north, 102%, uh, again bracketed, so limited data. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be better yielding than uh, Fearis in the north, uh, but somewhere behind King's Barn. In terms of disease resistance, mildew is a 6, so that's better than Fearish, not quite as good as King's Barn, which is a 7. But brown rust is good, it's equal to Fearis and better than King's Barn. And Rincosporium is equal to Fearis, not quite as good as King's Barn. Where it does score on the, score on the disease resistance is its net blotch resistance, which is seven, which is higher than Fearis and higher than King's Barn. Untreated yield is very similar to King's Barn, uh, not quite as good as Fearis, which um, it looks a little odd given its disease resistance, but that's the data we have. In terms of grain quality, specific weight is 69.9, uh, just a little behind uh, Fearis, uh, a little bit more behind King's Barn, but at 69.9, it's not really a problem. Lodging is seven for all three varieties. Uh, Buzzard is a little bit earlier than minus one, so earlier than Fearis and King's Barn. And of course it has the BYDV tolerance, the same as Fearish, which King's Barn doesn't have. So not quite as high yield, but no doubt that BYDV tolerance will be of interest to some growers. Again, the variety comment for SY Buzzard, I'm not going to read through it. You can pause the video and read it now, or you can read that on our website. So that's a very small addition to the recommended list for winter barley this year. Just want to acknowledge the rest of the RL team, uh, which sit behind all this work, uh, the field team who look after the trials, and the data team who crunch all the numbers, and also acknowledge our partners in um, the recommended list, BSPB, MAGB, and UK flour millers. There are other videos available for the other crops. If you want to look at those, they're also available on our website. Thank you.